I don't like LeBron because he stole my nickname. I am not worthy of MVP this year. Our form is very poor, with only 72 wins. Hamburgers increase muscle mass, cola reduces fat. Actually, this is true, everyone's physique is different and cannot be generalized. Beautiful as a painting cannot be called forging iron, the alliance should introduce difficulty coefficient points. Why do I instinctively use Sonda movements? It's a long story. Dream Six Savior. Don't call me that, I just came here once in 10 seconds and 8 minutes. Li Zhang was live streaming, his face flushed as he watched netizens summarize his classic quotes over the years. He said in a fit of anger, don't embarrass yourself, what do you know about the chosen son? Then the barrage of lawyer letters, Li Quan warnings, and reminders of Athens in 2004 filled the live broadcast room. This is the closest perfect player in basketball history, a double killer of record and beauty, and perhaps the most arrogant, authentic, and childish basketball star, the story of a superstar who ruled the first two decades of the 21st century. All of this starts with becoming a college student on the team in Dream 6 keywords of the novel. NBA I am truly the son of God without a pop-dot-up window. NBA I am truly the son of God. Download the full text. NBA I am truly the son of God. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Lucky Children of Dream 6 you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Lucky Children of Dream 6 A father and son are enjoying a relaxing breakfast in a single-family villa on the beautiful island of Seattle. College students selected for Dream 6. It's a silly tradition. These lazy guys in the NBA just don't want to carry their own shoes. Bullying rookies are still regarded as glorious traditions. I'll see who the unlucky guy is. Bu, Lai, An, Li. It seems that he heard about it somewhere. Li Zheng's father Damien Li was enjoying breakfast while reading the newspaper, and roast about the unwritten rules of American basketball, but this familiar name gradually stunned him. Brian Li, if I remember correctly, it's my son's name. Damien Li looked at Li Zheng, who had been feasting on hamburgers all morning. Has his son been selected for the dream team? It's really it's such a great tradition. This is America's tolerance for college players. That's an Olympic gold medal. My own collection needs to add a heavyweight item. Brian. Have you been selected for the dream team? Damien Lee exclaimed in surprise, as the heavily lowered coffee cup even splashed into Li Zhang's cola. Well, it's me. The training is about to begin, but you may not see me playing anymore. Larry Brown doesn't like young people, Li Zheng picked up another hamburger and took a big sip of cola. As a freshman who dominated the NCAA field and was praised by Coach K for having NBA strength in high school, he competes for the top pick in the annual draft. He is the god of basic skills, smooth hand, Seattle light, and the perfect basketball machine. Basketball players destined to enter the professional arena may not be able to consume such junk food, but this is the hardship that must be experienced on the path of pursuing perfection. What is a perfect basketball player? It's hard to say which player is better, who can score 50 points or send out 20 assists. Which is the better team building core, the inner beast or the outer core? Faced with provocation, is it easier to ignore it or is it more exciting to retaliate with a sharp eye? Which is more valuable, accurate shooting or dunking from behind? Is it a loyal and touching love, or is it a million-person fan who wanders through the flower bushes more loved by fans? Everyone has a different answer in their heart however, Li Zheng's ambition made him eager to climb the summit of the gods called perfect and pursue the perfect basketball, because he was the chosen person. To put it bluntly, he was the chosen son. Because Li Zheng's entire world is no longer like an ordinary person, with shooting, dribbling, passing, speed, strength, agility. When these things can be quantified, Li Zheng's life is more like a movie or a game. What's even more terrifying is that there are some inexplicable so-called talents and skills. 
When these words appeared before his eyes at the age of eight, he even felt like he had a mental illness, but the fact is that these apocalyptic words not only exist, but have never been wrong. This is also the reason why he extremely detests the player named LeBron James. The title of Chosen One is not more worthy of anyone than Li Zheng. Does LeBron James have his own terrifying ability? Just like how hamburger for muscle gain and cola for fat loss. You need to consume these foods with self.discipline. Of course, how to explain to your nutritionist is your own business. Junior Brother Increases stamina by 30 points and increases stamina recovery speed by 10. Sonda Master Americans always think you can fight like Bruce Lee, so you did it. Pain increases by 100% during empty-handed combat, and increases by 100% during armed combat, resulting in an 80% reduction in consequences. Debug. Although you don't have the right to choose, you already carry a heavy burden. When encountering Chinese players, all attributes are reduced by 30%. Invalid foot pads. If you don't pad your feet, they won't pad you either. You are immune to the consequences of various foot pads. Evil criminal expert. I never elbow, it's their head hitting my arm. Elbow strike pain increases by 100% and will not cause any harm as a result, beautiful as a painting. Don't ask whether you're handsome or not, just say whether you're handsome. Aesthetic shooting posture plus 30, stable shooting point 5. Li Zhengcheng is a character like a game character, but his skills look more like fighting games. He may still be a useful character in Street Fighter or Real Man Quick Play, but in the basketball field, Li Zhengcheng seems to have to start from scratch. Li Zheng himself also forgot how much hard work he had put in to play basketball well. With these skills that were not beneficial to basketball, he went on a rampage at Garfield High School in Seattle during high school and received a full scholarship from the University of Washington with an average of 45 points per game. After entering the University of Washington, he competed with team senior Brandon Roy for the position of team leader and won the trust of coaches, teammates, and fans with absolute strength. In March of Madness, he defeated strong opponents, eliminated George Tech, and advanced to the NCAA Finals. In the final match against the Eskimo Dog team, Li Zhang scored 50 points and hit the winning goal, defeating his opponent Emeka Okafu to become the top four of the NCAA in the 2003.04 season. He was selected by Meng Lu as a college student player to accompany the team. It can be said that last year was a fruitful year for Li Zhang. After Li Zhang announced that he will continue to stay on campus next year to compete for consecutive championships, the media has referred to him as the next Duncan level player, and Li Zhang has indeed set Duncan and Jabbar as his targets, striving to build an NCAA dynasty for consecutive championships. New King Challenge a NCAA champion cannot satisfy a thirsty player, keep hungry. Strive for enough championships in your college career, and the rewards depend on the number of championships won. Currently. 1 Victory Road. NCAA Champion Asterisk 1, Reward. Google Stock 5%. Dream 6 Little Brother. Achieve double the training effect during the Dream Team training period. Li Zheng lowered his head and glanced at his laptop. The stock named Google on it didn't seem very optimistic, but since it was a prize after winning the NCAA championship, perhaps there was something strange about it. Hey Brian, Damien Li's words interrupted Li Zheng's thoughts, help me get Jordan's signature. I really like his dirty braids. Well, you don't have to cater to me to watch the sports you hate. Jordan has retired and won't play for the Dream Team this time, Li Zheng said helplessly. Jordan is bald, you're talking about Allen Iverson, right? Um, I just wanted to congratulate you, Damian Lee frowned. He remembered that his boss seemed to have bought an NBA team, and it shouldn't be difficult to ask him to take care of his son. This is touching fatherly love, and he is truly a qualified and good father. Li Zheng looked disdainfully at Damian Lee, who had entered a fatherly state. He now even looked forward to getting along with Larry Brown, after all, 
Larry Brown would never look at him with such disgusting and greasy eyes. P.S. The protagonist is a Chinese-American who does not participate in the Dream 8 and does not participate in the 2008 Olympics. The setting is to save Chinese basketball and let Chinese players come by themselves, without playing the Gu Xing plot. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. One Person's Training. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 One Person's Training Phoenix In the American West Arena, apart from scattered staff, only Li Zhang and two old men looked at each other in an empty stadium. Training But I'm the only one here. Oh, and you too. Li Zhang looked at the two elderly men in front of him. This old man with silver hair, a neat suit, and a serious face was Larry Brown. It was currently the most glorious moment of his life, as he won the NCAA championship and NBA championship, was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and became the head coach of the Dream Team. Now, he only needs one Olympic gold medal to achieve true fulfillment. Of course, Li Zheng has heard of Larry Brown's name. The most cautionary thing for every NCAA player is to stay away from this serious old man. He will only ask you to play basketball correctly, but most of the time there is no correct answer in basketball. The other veteran is the head of the American Basketball Association, Jerry Langlow, or more accurately, the actual helmsman of the Basketball Logistics Committee, the behind-the-scenes big shot of the NBA Suns, and the true power figure of the NBA. Hard-working child, you are the first person on the dream team to report, said Jerry Langlow with a kind smile Li Zheng scratched his head and said, first one. Aren't we going to compete in Cologne, Germany in six days? Seriously. It's already difficult enough to convince these big names to participate in the competition. Want them to attend the training on time. It's a global challenge, Jerry Langlow said with a smile, but his expression clearly didn't seem strange. It's just the Olympics, it's not the NBA Finals. The appearance of the dream team is to showcase the charm of American basketball. No matter which dream team participates in the Olympics, it's just a process, capturing the attention of fans around the world with their brilliant performances and gorgeous style. As for the candidates. That's not even important. So I'll train alone here for six days. Seriously. It won't be that long, maybe those celebrities will come here in sports cars the next hour. Young man, train well. I've seen your performance at NCAA, and you're a good kid, Jerry Longlow comforted Li Zhang. What about Coach Brown? Can you accept such a team? It's really a bit. Li Zhang tried to organize his words from his mind, but Larry Brown's calmness really left him speechless. Shut up, kid, be smart, said Jerry Longlow with some displeasure. Tim Duncan, Alan Iverson, Steve Marbury, any of these names can ruin you and your entire team. The NCAA championship is not that big of a deal, kid, you have to learn to be humble here. Being smart doesn't mean you don't need training, Mr. Jerry. Li Zheng lowered his head and gazed at Kronglo. This old boy's sudden provocation surprised him a bit. If he didn't want to learn about the strength of NBA players, he wouldn't have agreed to come here and be a clown. I should also say these words to myself about maintaining humility. After Li Zheng finished speaking, he pushed open the door and walked out. Soon, the sound of a basketball hitting the floor in the gym rang out. Jerry Langlow stared at Li Zheng leaving the office with a dark face. After Li Zheng walked away, he suddenly changed his face and looked at Larry Brown. What's up? I don't seem like a villain, he said playfully to Larry Brown. Larry Brown's cold face was only slightly moved at this moment. The old dot fashion players would appreciate every player who loves training from the bottom of their hearts, and their attitude towards contempt and injustice was also commendable. Larry Brown and Jerry Langlow wanted to test this NCAA's new king, and Li Zheng's answer sheet satisfied them. He doesn't treat himself like a mascot, he's just playing for real, Larry Brown said seriously. Yes. He was about to kill me with his eyes just now. It's been a long time since I've seen such a fierce look. 
Cronjolo waved his hand and smiled. Li Zhang's aura was no weaker than those players from the dream team. He likes such players. Remember to give him some playing time, Larry, you know how difficult NCAA people are to deal with. No. He needs to fight for his own playing time, and I won't favor any players. Except for Alan Iverson, right. FK, shut up. Li Zheng wiped away the sweat from his face and hurriedly flew to Phoenix to participate in the training. Unexpectedly, on the first day of his arrival, he was scolded by the old man. Perhaps this was the hardships of the chosen son's success, and the feeling of being enemies with the world was truly irresistible. Looking up, flicking the wrist, the ball cuts a beautiful curve from the fingertips and enters the net with a hollow shape. Beautiful as a painting the posture of the shot, the strength and speed of the shot, the sliding curve of the ball, and the trajectory of the rotation are all as exquisite as works of art, but Li Zhang knows that this is not enough because it is not a perfect shot. Li Zhang pursues the limit of shooting, which is called the perfect realm. Getting into the basket is just the most basic requirement for him to shoot. His graceful posture, stable hand shape, and quick release are just icing on the cake. A perfect shot in Li Zheng's heart is a stream of consciousness, allowing him to hit the basketball from any location and in any way he wants. It is a wonderful state of being able to touch the basketball god, regardless of whether the defender is tall or agile. Unfortunately, even with over 100,000 shots, Li Zheng couldn't get any inspiration, but he was certain that that realm must exist. No staff member was willing to work overtime to pick up the ball for this college student. Li Zheng had to go pick up the ball himself after pitching, but his precise shooting made this job easier. Li Zheng didn't have to spend too much time picking up the ball, and the basketball always went hollow into the net and fell under the basket. In the office on the high platform of the stadium, Larry Brown focused on every moment of Li Zheng's training. It wasn't until a while later, his thighs trembled a few times before he regained consciousness. You've been standing for almost an hour, Larry. Take a break. Cronglow pushed his coffee cup towards the other side of the table. Larry Brown then took off his glasses, pinched his brow, and sat on the sofa. Just as he sat down, Larry Brown showed a painful expression. You should retire now, old man. Cronglow laughed heartily, and there were not many opportunities for the old dot fashioned Larry Brown to embarrass himself, so he cherished such moments. This child is great, Jerry. I suggest you take him to Phoenix. Larry Brown grinned, but his face was extremely serious. Only watched for an hour. You're too arbitrary Larry, let alone where I found a top three pick. Should I use Marion and Stoudemire to exchange for a top pick pick to play with Nash? Don't be joking. Crongelo waved repeatedly. Although the Suns lost to their old rival, the Spurs, in the first round last year, he knew these guys were full of potential and needed time to grow. The team also needed to adapt rather than frequently trade and change. The ninth pick of the 2002 draft, Amare Stoudemire, demonstrated exceptional strength, with Sean Marion averaging 20 points per game. Under Nash's leadership, they were incredibly brave, and the future of the Suns is thriving. They don't need to make any changes. I'm serious, Larry Brown said solemnly. He was about to recount Li Zheng's miracle just now, but Kronglo absentmindedly stirred his coffee cup and made Larry Brown swallow the rest of the words. He could only silently take off his glasses and gently wipe them. Larry Brown is a jerk, Cronlow wrote in his memoirs and autobiography, if Larry had told me that Brian Lee only missed one shot in an hour of shooting training, I would have traded the entire team like those jerk managers and picked him poorly. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Iverson and Training You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Iverson and Training Practicing shooting is a tedious sport, especially for perfectionists like Li Zhang. Although every shot is accompanied by a crisp sound of entering the net, he is even more demanding of himself. This ball hit the net, failed. Li Zheng picked up the ball and silently calculated the force in his heart. 
a pair of white sneakers appeared in his sight. Li Zheng looked up and said, what a thick gold chain, is that why it was specially made into the shape of a dog chain? This must be some kind of weight-bearing exercise, otherwise who would have hung this thing around their neck? Good morning, young man. Alan Iverson smiled kindly and greeted Li Zheng with a smile, followed by a few hip-hop-style black guys, hunched over and swaying behind Iverson. Of course, Li Zheng knows this famous MVP, an idol of countless black people, and the only player who lost the game to the Invincible OK group. The answer is Alan Iverson. It's just that Alan Iverson is actually the first big-name player from Dream 6 to participate in training, and this world seems a bit magical. Shooting is very accurate, Rice Boy. Alan Everson wrapped the basketball around his waist, his chubby pants always making Li Zheng worried that he might trip. What do you do during the competition? Do they need to prepare extra rice for you? The words spoken by Americans when they see Chinese Americans are always full of aggression, although they may not be really provoking. However, Li is maintaining a counterattack attitude towards equality, I am not an MVP, I do not have privileges, I need training. Li deliberately emphasized the word training in his counterattack, and Iverson's face darkened. Pay attention to your words, child, you need to learn to respect. Iverson snatched the ball back from Li Zhang's hand and said with a displeased expression. He dislikes others saying training jokes in front of him, which is questioning his professional attitude. Although his professional attitude may not be very good, this is classic American thinking. Respect is mutual, MVP, don't disturb my training. Li Zheng snatched the ball back from Iverson's hand and raised his arm high. Iverson reached out and found that it could only reach Li Zheng's elbow. If you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of the world with a dozen pairs of sneakers on your back, you have to show respect to your seniors and learn to be smart, boy. Iverson held his hands on his chest and stared at Li Zheng word by word with a calm gaze. Is it the tradition of the team? MVP, do you want to hear my rules? Li Zheng smiled and looked down at this great short man. Although he respected Iverson's fighting spirit and spirit, it didn't mean he could offend himself at will. I know you're from NCAA, but I only watch games at Georgetown University and I don't care about your bullshit rules. Apologize now, pack my bag and leave here, then close your mouth and watch us play games. Bring your souvenir gold medal back to your college basketball and show off with a little girl. Anyway, don't provoke me. Iverson's mouth was like a bolt of fire, giving Li Zheng a rap output. The tone words used were mixed and not chaotic, such as Mei's fake, Bai Qi, and shit. Perhaps Li Zheng's condescending gaze stimulated Iverson, who had a strong sense of self-esteem. Of course, his behavior of lifting the basketball and not getting the ball for Iverson may have been more excessive. If it were a bronze medal, I can't say for sure, Li was silently reciting in his heart. Iverson's trench design is very cool, and Li Zheng really wants to touch it to experience the feel. However, at this time of confrontation, his behavior may be forced to trigger certain Sanda skills, which seems not conducive to uniting the team. Li Zheng hesitated and continued to maintain a high cold face. MVP, I just want to tell you that you have to carry your own backpacks. Whether it's team tradition or black culture, my rule is, Li Zheng lowered his head and faced Iverson's sharp gaze, the winner is the biggest. Only those who win can command others to do this and that, right? Iverson and Li Zheng looked at each other for a long time. 1v1, are you serious? This is my ability to eat. Me too. Li Zheng threw the ball to Iverson, and the long dot awaited moment finally arrived. Facing NBA players and one of the strongest in the NBA, it was an unfair match, but Li Zheng could feel the feeling of blood accelerating during the NCAA finals coming back Iverson casually took off his oversized hip-hop pants and changed into the clothes handed over by his brother. You need some special training, don't you? Rice boy, I'm going to prepare a pair of crutches for you. Iverson's black companions spoke confidently and attacked Li Zheng from outside the field. 
Alan will break your leg. If you lose, let the rice boy wash everyone's socks. Let's have some hamburgers. Eating rice won't stop Alan. Li Zheng heard that many NBA stars have been supporting their former brothers after making money, and Iverson is one of them. Suddenly, Li Zheng understands this behavior. With these brothers, they can transform into gunmen, bodyguards, assistants, cheerleaders, and straight men at any time. They are versatile and can easily play various roles, which is really worth it. Do you want to warm up? Li Zheng kindly reminded, although he was not sure how Iverson arrived at the gym, it was obvious from his and these black guys' somewhat frivolous footsteps that they were carefree in the nightclub yesterday. No. Iverson kicked a ball, dribbled it vigorously twice, and threw it to Li Zheng. You go first. Li Zheng raised his hand and shot, and the basketball fell into the net. Iverson's eyes changed slightly, and the boy's shooting posture in front of him reminded him of a person. The former Magic One, who had just been traded to the Rockets' two-time scoring champion in the summer, Tracy McGrady. With the same tall figure and elegant posture, Iverson regained his composure and lowered his body to defend himself. It was useless to have a charm in the air. He opened his arms and stared closely at Li Zheng's body. Li Zheng lowered his body, frowned, and felt a sudden increase in pressure. The basketball in his hand was no longer as agile and carefree as another part of his body. Iverson's short body brought him a huge sense of threat, and he had an illusion that the basket seemed to be a circle smaller. Now, there was no basket like the vast sea of vision, which was very unfamiliar and not good. Dare not take the ball. Boy. Iverson defended closely, placing his hand on Li Zheng's waist and pretending to pull the ball with the other hand. The hand holding on his waist could sense the direction of Li Zheng's force, while the other hand could force Li Zheng to stop the ball. This defensive move that walks on the edge of the rules is the biggest difference between professional players and amateur players. Li Zheng tried to dribble, but Iverson poked the basketball out. Too slow, too slow. Iverson shook his head and walked out of the three-dot point line, throwing the ball to Li Zheng. Mid-range shooting. 98, three-pointers. 99, layups. 96, dunks. 94, dribbling. 96, passing. 97, ball quotient. 99, speed. 97, defense. 98, rebounds. 92, steals. 93, blocks. 91, it's been a while since I've been snatched, Li Zheng shook his head and tried to clear his mind of distractions. His nearly full abilities lost their magic in front of Iverson, and he felt strong pressure in the NCAA's fierce battles. Sure enough, professional-level players can interfere with my abilities, Li Zheng realized just now where the eerie feeling came from. Sensing the opponent's ability in making correct judgments has become his body's instinct, but Iverson's professional-level defense has caused a bug in his body. With my current abilities, both the attacking route, shooting posture, and subsequent changes have been greatly affected. In other words, it is not only difficult for me to pursue perfect inspiration, but also extremely difficult to maintain a smooth and calm ball holding. Excellent defense will weaken one's various abilities that are close to full value. Similarly, achieving full value in NCAA is just the beginning. The professional runway is completely a different world. One's hard training is like trying to reach the ceiling, and there is still an infinite sky above the ceiling. Is it cruel? No, that kind of world is very beautiful. Li Zheng touched his nose, pulled up his sneakers, bent down and opened his arms. This was what the pursuit of perfection should look like. Iverson put away his playful expression, feeling the change in his youth. His body gradually became tense, and the atmosphere became much more solemn. The ball bounced up and down, and everyone knew that one could not blink casually at this moment, because this little guy is someone who can pass any defender in an instant, Alan Iverson. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Kung Fu Kid 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Kung Fu Kid Iverson took the ball with his left hand and made an in-out, and Li Zhang's body instinctively tilted slightly to the right. For him, such a gap was already enough. His right leg slammed on the ground, his body tilted forward, penetrating Li Zhang's defense like an arrow, straight into the penalty area. After breaking through Li Zhang's defense, Iverson deliberately slowed down and jumped up to confront him when he caught up with the block. Then, he effortlessly picked up the basket with his left hand and the basketball obediently crawled into the basket. Allen. The real killer. The brothers who accompanied Iverson cheered loudly. The score difference was 11.7, and in their eyes, there was no doubt that Iverson would win. Although the Rice Kid scored three goals, they were all just fooled. Basketball players knew that anyone who made a blind eight shot still didn't score a few. Iverson completely destroyed Li Zheng. 11 to 7. Wu. You lost. Rice boy. You're playing too trash. Suck my, enough. Shut up. Iverson's face turned pale as he stopped their foul language. Pay attention. Then he looked at Li Zheng with complexity and reached out his hand. I take back what I offended earlier. Although Iverson won the game, he knew how intense the process was. Li Zheng adjusted his speed too quickly, like a sponge absorbing water. He could absorb his offensive and defensive skills in just one or two rounds, and he would try hard to apply them in the next round. Li Zheng was so immature at the beginning that he found it difficult to dribble, but later he became accustomed to his defensive strength and demonstrated his ample arsenal in less than five rounds, including mid-range shots, three-dot pointers, changes in direction, and retreats, a score of 11-7 to 7 does not necessarily represent Li Zheng's true strength. Li Zheng's back-riding skills even made him think of Jordan. If he wants to win the game in an ugly way, he just needs to straighten his back, feed his arms into the basket bit by bit, and calmly lay up. However, Li Zheng did not do that, but instead chose to try various attacking methods, and he hardly ever uses the same attacking method continuously. Iverson has always been using his speed and agility to attack Li Zheng's weaknesses. As a defender approaching 2 meters, Li Zheng cannot match Iverson's explosive acceleration comparable to that of a sports car. His lightning-fast speed is truly enviable. Even though Everson went all out to play seriously with anger, the score did not differ as imagined. Everson did not approve of Li Zheng's romantic one-dot-on-point-one -on -one style, but he was willing to respect strong players. Therefore, he immediately stopped his brother's insults to Li Zheng and apologized for some personal attacks on him on the field. Are you asking me? Boy. Iverson pulled Li Zheng into his arms and asked in a low voice. No, this is my rule, Li Zheng whispered. He patted Iverson's head as he wished, feeling good. Iverson glared at him without saying a word. There will be a party tonight, and Steve, Lamar, and Sean will be there. Do you want to attend? Iverson changed into a hip dot hop outfit again and put the thick dog leash back on his neck under Li Zheng's grin. Hey, come on, Li, let me show you the world. Iverson's brother, the familiar black brother, hugged Li Zheng. However, in the moment his arm was resting on Li Zheng's body, he felt like he was flying, and then the world seemed to flip over, gradually turning into a gray-white color Li Zheng scratched his head. He habitually used black brother's embrace as a throat lock during a fight, and the Sanda master accidentally triggered it. With the help of inertia, he lifted Black Brother into the air and directly threw him to the ground. However, subconsciously, the whip leg that fell from the sky had some retaliatory meaning, but Li Zheng ensured that these actions were subconscious, and he also worked hard to retract the subsequent moves. Uh, Reg, are you okay? The fag, Black Brother, stopped licking his thick lips and greeted the guy lying on the ground with a dull expression on his face. Ah. Mom, I'm going to die. I'm okay, I'm okay, hiss, I'm in pain, I'm going to die. Greg carefully groped his whole body, and was pulled up by Li Zheng Tinkong before falling heavily to the floor. 
Li Zheng jumped up again like lightning and gave himself a heavy whip leg. When he fell to the ground, he felt like he was already dead. Li, this, Iverson looked at Li Zheng with some fear. Someone once said that Chinese people all know Kung Fu, and he was a bit skeptical. Now he believes it. I didn't mean to, Li Zheng said with a bitter smile. Iverson nodded repeatedly, I understand, but there's some good news. You may not need to worry about the old players bullying you anymore. Iverson coughed a few times, and after Li Zheng turned his head and appeared, he was already full of burly men, most of whom were from the Dream 6 team. After seeing Li Zheng turn around, these people collectively took a step back, with a look of fear in their eyes. Ha ha ha, I just don't think bullying newcomers is an interesting habit, Lamar Odom said with a smirk. Yeah, backpacks should be something you bring yourself, Sean Marion nodded repeatedly, we're all adults, doing our own things. We look down on those old guys who bully newcomers the most, Carlos Boozer added softly after swallowing his saliva. Your name is Bruce Lee, right? No, you're Jackie Chan, no, you're Jet Li, uh, what's your name? Odom greeted Li Zheng with a silly smile, but the way he tried to squeeze a smile made Li Zheng feel a little uneasy. Brian Lee, I've seen the list, Boozer said confidently. Chinese surnames come first, he should be called Lee Bryant, Sean Marion retorted. Is Bruce Lee surnamed Lee or Bruce? Odom asked in response. Yeah, that's still Brian Lee, Lamar. You're this one. Sean Marion gave a thumbs up, Odom showed a smart smile, and Boozer carefully glanced at Li Zheng, realizing that he had no intention of taking action and finally showed a smile. Hello, my name is Brian Li and my Chinese name is Li Zheng. Li Zheng interrupted the conversation helplessly. These guys who reported earlier made plans to go to the nightclub with Iverson to have a free time. After witnessing this Chinese-American boy carry Iverson, a chubby brother weighing nearly 200 pounds, with his own arms, they quickly expressed their care and love for the rookie players. What's bullying rookie players, what's the bullshit tradition? Is there anything worse than being photographed by a journalist being thrown in circles by a kung fu kid? If there is, then it should be the appearance of this kung fu kid receiving a whip leg in the sky and then landing in embarrassment. The experience of UFC and WWE, which Americans love to watch the most, tells them that the action Li Zheng took just now seems to be some kind of finishing move. They don't know whether it's a deadly scissor foot or a death elbow, but everyone knows that if you don't want to suffer, don't provoke that kung fu kid. The chubby guy rolling and screaming on the ground is the best example. Uh, I'm going to take Reggie to see a doctor. We've gathered the hot bullets, Iverson broke the awkward situation and helped Black Brother up from the ground, agreeing with everyone. Lee, today Aaron is paying the bill. There's good health. Aren't you going to see the world? Lamar Odom habitually prepared to hook his arm around Chen Zheng's neck. Suddenly, he remembered something and withdrew like an electric shock. Marion and Boozer were both amazed by the lightning fast hand speed, and human potential is indeed limitless. You guys go, I just got kicked in the butt by Alan. I'll have to win back next time, Li Zheng said calmly. Then he picked up the basketball and silently pondered every detail of the singles match. Today's harvest was very fruitful, and Li Zheng was already looking forward to the grand occasion when the Dream 6 team gathered in the future. Odom, who was carefree, walked towards the aisle and prepared to leave the field with Iverson. Marion and Boozer both heard the confidence in Li Zheng's tone, as if he was just stating a fact that had already happened, rather than empty promises of ideals, hopes, and expectations. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Off-Duty You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Mentors you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Mentors Madison Garden Arena. This year's NBA Championship is David Stern, holding a microphone and slowly announcing the ownership of the NBA Championship to the tsunami like cheers of fans, New York Knicks, congratulations. 
The player who won the FMVP is Stephen Marbury. Marbury raised the FMVP trophy high, tears of joy streaming down his face. His teammates hugged him, and the fans also shouted MVP. MVP. It was because the trophy felt a bit flattened to the touch, and his teammates' armpits were already on his lips. It was really despicable. And who is still secretly shooting and ironing on the field during the award ceremony? Hurry up and watch the Great Marbury Crowned FMVP Ceremony. Why is the sound of banging iron getting clearer and clearer in my ears? Marbury smacked his lips and found a mop bigger than his own shoes pressing against his mouth. WTF. He struggled to get up, cursing and finally remembering that he had come to the gym where Dream 6 was training, and had been playing with an NCAA college student all night before seemingly falling asleep. It's a pity for the dream just now. Marbury thought regretfully that he had just dreamed of leading the New York Knicks to the NBA Finals, defeating O'Neal and Kobe Bryant 4.3, and winning the FMVP. If it weren't for this damn drag, he might have won three consecutive championships mop, poo, poo, poo. Marbury spat out the hair from the mop in his mouth, and after a moment of retching, he impatiently threw the clothes on his body aside. He looked at the field under the dim light, and the boy named Lee was still practicing to shoot backwards. His posture was beautiful, his body was slender, and his arms were outstretched, much like the Magic's number one McGrady. Damn it, he's really shameless to play against a defender in front. Marbury found a reason in his heart, losing to NCAA's MOP was not very normal, and he also won a game, which cannot be considered embarrassing. Marbury sat in the same spot, not knowing how long it took for him to wake up. It was only then that he realized that Li Zheng was practicing the moves he used in bullfighting. His slightly painful neck told him that he had slept for quite some time. Has this kid been practicing here all this time? How could this be? Isn't he tired? Hey, changing direction is not like you do, Marbury stood up, thought for a moment, and picked up the training suit that was thrown on the ground. He walked into the field and said to Li Zheng. I'm practicing your fake movements in the direction of change, but they're always not that realistic. Li Zheng thought for a moment, feeling that it's difficult to describe in language, it's Marbury's change of direction. The fake movements and real intentions seem to be able to switch at any time, but when his fake movements transform into real breakthrough actions, there is always a mandatory stiffness, which seriously affects the speed of subsequent action transitions. Of course, this may also be related to a decrease in physical strength. Li Zheng can feel the sluggishness of his body after a large amount of physical loss, and his originally precise shooting becomes much stronger after high dot speed changes and uncoordinated shots. Your basketball is too correct. You have received some systematic basketball training, which is difficult for people who haven't been on the streets to understand. Marbury patiently explained and took Li Zheng's basketball, doing the same fake action as Li Zheng. We are using the same action, but you are also hesitating to pass the ball one dot on point one. Hesitation. Li Zheng asked inexplicably. Your coach always teaches you to do the right thing, but sometimes, correctness represents mediocrity, just like your coach believes that in defense, you cannot let go of someone with a 50% shooting percentage and go defend against another guy with a 30% shooting percentage, because that's not right, but the reality is often the opposite. Is there any problem with this? Li Zheng asked in confusion. Even if Michael Jordan hits 1 out of 10 shots, you have to put 100% of your effort into defending him, understand? Those who only understand data are amateurs, and basketball is not a math problem. You always want to make the opponent's defense break, and then you break through, pass, shoot, or do something messy, and then claim that this is the right basketball. No, most people understand the right basketball, use their strength to break others' correctness, and then you have the right to see their true flaws. Marbury spoke confidently, and Li Zheng's eyes gradually brightened. The meaning of Marbury is very simple, that is, if you don't have enough threat, the opponent won't make mistakes. Li Zheng is the kind of perfect player he wants to become, not the kind of person with high shooting percentage, 
good data, strong team paper strength but unable to win the game. The three-dot point line is defended by two steps, with a three-dot minute shooting rate of 50, and the kind of shooting rate that even if chatting with the opponent's bench in the bottom corner, two people have a sandwiched shooting rate of 30. It is obvious who is better. Putting aside distractions, Marbury said seriously and then passed the ball back to Li Zheng. Breakthrough was full of hesitation and distractions, and Li Zheng's breakthrough was full of hesitation and distractions. You should be playing as the main control in the team, right? You always like to hesitate after passing my defense. It should be the habit of observing teammates' movements and opponents' defense. Although the time is short and you are an all dot around god in NCAA, the more you play like you, the harder it is to adapt to the NBA. You're right, Li Zheng said lightly as he patted the ball. Marbury's words were harsh but true. Every player who could join the NBA was once Jordan or Chamberlain in their own story. But joining the NBA, facing wilder and more intense competition, it will become extremely difficult to maintain great performance. You don't believe in your teammates, you don't even believe in yourself, Marbury continued, because of your omnipotence, you have considered too many things, and these distractions interfere with your speed of judgment. In college basketball, even if they see your hesitation, no one can stop you, but in the NBA, such hesitation is deadly. Li Jing nodded and pushed the basketball out. Marbury was right. Iverson and Marbury's defense in the NBA can only be considered second-rate, but even when facing them, they can still feel constrained and oppressed. In the NBA, the kind of forward defender, the hexagonal warrior with speed, agility, strength, and mentality, is the ceiling of defense. Li Zheng is not so optimistic about easily defeating such a Spider-Man. My strength is now limited to NCAA. College basketball is the right basketball, and I am the biggest nemesis of the right basketball because no one is more right than me. However, the NBA is a stage for heroes and monsters, and to dominate the NBA, I must become even stronger. However, this is the path of the chosen one. Full value is just the beginning. My passion has already boiled. The image of Marbury in Li Zhang's eyes became somewhat sacred, as he was like a mentor on his perfect basketball journey. But with a bald head, tattoos, profanity, and a preference for black elbows, upper legs, and lower three-dot-way battle gods, it seems that this is not a traditional mentor character. Thank you, Stephen, you're like a philosopher, Li Zheng said sincerely to Marbury. What philosopher, I'm just a thief, gangster, understand. Marbury coughed a few times and turned his head away from looking directly into Li Zheng's eyes. He draped his training suit over Li Zheng's shoulder. I come from the street, this is street wisdom, study hard. After packing up his things, Marbury paced towards the outside of the gym and quickly turned to call out to Li Zheng at the door, you don't have to train anymore, do you? Don't pretend to work hard, no one is looking at you now. You're back at the hotel, I'll give you a ride. Um, I'll trouble you, thank you. But it may take a while. Li Zheng walked to the sidelines and picked up the mop. I need to clean this up, it'll be ready soon. Gone, I won't give you a ride, you bastard. I get annoyed when I see a mop. Marbury's face changed slightly, and as he retched, he sprinted towards the door with all his might. He left the arena in embarrassment. Li Zheng rubbed his nose, wondering why Marbury had such a big reaction. Hating mops, perhaps those from the streets are a bit eccentric. Li Zheng suddenly looked forward to meeting other members of Dream 6. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Scattered and Scattered You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 7 Scattered and Scattered The next day when we met, Marbury's eyes were as sharp as a knife, especially when he saw Everson step into the arena with his left foot and had a big argument with him. Everyone could feel Marbury's resentment overflowing from the arena. Iverson smiled bitterly and promised Marbury all the expenses for his away trip to Philadelphia, which made Marbury's face slightly better. These guys abandoned him and spent the whole night at the nightclub, 
while he accompanied Li Zheng in a bullfight. Marbury unleashed his malice towards the world. This kid is really a pervert, Iverson and Marbury sighed as they looked at Li Zheng running and jumping in the field after playing. Marbury nodded repeatedly with lingering fear, and there was no better adjective for this kind of physical strength besides being pervert. The reported dream six players were gathered in groups on the sidelines, chatting or training enthusiastically on the field. Only Li Zheng was surrounded by an incredibly spacious environment, with yellow skin, college students, and a solitary in aloof demeanor. Most of the dream six players chose to keep a distance from this NCAA mop, even the veteran players who had dealt with Li Zheng. They are willing to show respect to Li Zheng, but only for that. Not many old players are willing to express friendliness and welcome to rookie players. They have never been such kind and sunny people. Lee is not very popular among old players, but other young players do not have similar troubles. The arrival of Amar Stoudemire, Cameron Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron James has added a lot of vitality to this patchwork team. Black players, NBA players, and young players have easily achieved the most difficult things for Li Zheng with simple labels and integrated into the team. Gather, gather. Larry Brown shouted loudly at the sidelines, and the players who arrived quickly stood in two rows, then coincidentally pushed Li Zheng to the bottom and farthest position of the row. Larry Brown silently glanced at Li Zheng, silently waiting for everyone to stand at attention. Are college players being excluded and bullied to this extent? No one can speak for them, never. The young players have also returned to the team, and we should get back on track. Many excellent players have withdrawn from the game, and you have shown enough courage to participate in this game. Coach Larry Brown said confidently, the terrorist attacks at the Athens Olympics have led to many top players choosing to withdraw from the game, which has also led to a lack of star flavor in this dream team. However, no one will care. The American Basketball Association does not care, David Stern does not care, Larry Brown does not care, and the players on the field naturally do not care. They are the American team. From the very beginning of my dream, I realized my rule over world basketball. The championship flag hanging in the NBA has never been an American champion, but a world champion. American basketball and NBA are so confident and arrogant. We didn't send our best players to the Olympics, but these all-star level players are already enough to slaughter at the Olympics. Larry Brown went from the glorious tradition of the U.S. team to reminiscing about his turbulent years at the NCAA, and then to his experience coaching the NBA. Despite trying his best to control his facial muscles, Li Zheng still couldn't help but yawn. Larry Brown keenly noticed Li Zheng's yawn and gave him a glance. Rookie players should sit on the bench honestly. Truly outstanding players will not be buried by time, let alone this is the dream team. A college student player should hold their thighs and lie down to win a gold medal, which is enough. The journey is about to begin, let's embrace glory and victory together. Larry Brown gave a rough explanation of his training plan and future schedule, and concluded with an uplifting sentence. However, the results did not seem optimistic, as these NBA millionaires exuded a sense of laziness and laziness. During the off-season, it is not uncommon for some players, especially those who did not make it to the playoffs, to be called up after a month or two of vacation. Their bodies are shapely and their shooting is stiff. The most important thing is that these players do not have the desire to win in their eyes. They really see this Olympic competition as a trip. Li Zheng touched his nose and felt that the atmosphere of this team was somewhat familiar. It was extremely similar to the University of Washington's opponent, the University of Connecticut, in this year's NCAA final. After learning that the University of Washington had defeated Georgia Tech, the opposing players and fans had pre-booked them as champions. The opponent's ace, Amika Okafu, boasted that this would be a big victory of over 20 points, but Li Zhang and Roy's outfields left Connecticut with nothing left. Amika Okafu's stamina was exhausted from extra time and he failed to save the team, but was overturned by Li Zhang's ultimate victory. This unprecedented battle even affected the draft order of Amika Okafu. 
Originally, this young insider had a chance to compete for the top spot, but Li Zheng's unexpected appearance caused his draft prediction to drop to third place, completely losing his qualification to compete with Dwight Howard and Li Zheng for the top spot. Later, Li Zheng announced his withdrawal from the draft and stayed in school to pursue consecutive championships. Howard locked in the position of top pick, and the final draft result was the same. The Dream 6 team, NBA top pick, and NCAA's MOP, sometimes the outcome of a game can determine fate. But these guys don't seem to care at all. Li Zheng is a bit strange. Do experts like Iverson and Marbury really need training to maintain a stable training state? The other players were not talking about women, but about leaves, alcohol, and sports cars. Even Larry Brown, a veteran known for his harshness, did not stop the scattered behavior from gradually spreading throughout the team. As someone who was still focused on basketball, Li Zheng suddenly missed his close friend and partner, Brandon Roy. Hey, are you this year's MOP a doll-faced player with dirty braids shouted at Li Zheng, Cameron Anthony. Although missing out on the best rookie, returning to the playoffs with the Nuggets in the Wild West fully proved the super strength of the 2003 Golden Generation's Tanhua, but Li Zheng saw his malicious smile on the corner of his mouth. I've only been away for a year, and NCAA has let people like you take MOP. It's so sad. Lucky boy, do you want to receive some special teaching? Experience from seniors. Anthony took the initiative to provoke, and Wade and James behind him covered their mouths and chuckled as they looked at me. Tell me, what boring bet did you make? Li Zheng said helplessly. It's not that he's too smart, but that their ideas and actions are too straightforward. It's hard for normal humans to see their intentions. $500 dunking and coughing on your head, why should I tell you, 1v1. You lost and became our errand runner tonight. Although I think you look very similar, I hope you're not that kind of pushy, Anthony said awkwardly. This kid said all the same things himself, almost never getting off the stage. Ha <laughs> ha. Promise him. Fight with him all night. Marbury saw the commotion and showed a crazy smile, which scared Anthony back and forth. Wade and James also changed their expressions. Don't scare the young people. Iverson pulled Marbury away and didn't let him rush to the side of the Banana Boat Brothers. Anthony looked at Marbury bouncing around with lingering fear. He seriously suspected that Marbury was flying big, and no normal person could laugh like that. How about it? Dare not. Anthony passed the ball to Li Zhang and pulled off his training uniform. It's not a problem to knock it down, what if you lose? Li Zheng calmly asked as he patted the ball. Losing. Anthony's one dot on point one ability in the NBA can be considered outstanding, losing to college players, and he is also a yellow skin player. He really didn't consider losing, let alone gambling. It doesn't matter, you decide, it won't happen anyway. Li Zhang is full of dissatisfaction with this carefree and arrogant team and players, even if they play NCAA, they are not qualified, let alone compete in the Olympics. Their attitude and ability are all trash, gold medal. Champion. It sounds like something in a bag, but can these guys really do it? Moreover, this garbage team is still rejecting itself, and there seems to be nothing wrong with teaching these arrogant guys a lesson, hey, don't be stunned. If you dare not speak, be our errand runner, buy condoms, blow a few balloons, or wear underwear to go to the nightclub. We won't be too difficult for you. Anthony said with a wicked smile, and Wade and James behind him laughed back and forth, making a loud noise. 1v1, I agreed, but as long as you're the one, the bet won't be exciting, Li Zheng hooked his finger at Anthony and Wade James behind him. I'm short of a few bag handlers. If I lose, I'll leave it to you. Anthony's face closed with a smile, and Li Zheng's response made him very unhappy. They wanted to see Li Zheng run away in embarrassment. Anthony turned to look at Wade and James, asking for their opinions. Do it, they shouted in unison. You're a bit off guard, kid. Anthony Dahl's face, although smiling, 
was noticeably darker. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Guardianship. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Guardianship, Mello, Get Rid of Him. I bet $500 on Mello. 11.2, the most. Can he play the ball well? Anthony will devour him alive, this kid is finished. The veteran players gathered in a circle, commenting on the bullfight between Li Zhang and Anthony. Iverson and Marbury exchanged a glance, smiled tacitly, and turned around to take all the bets on Anthony. You first. Anthony proudly threw the ball at Li Zhang, and with more onlookers, his desire to perform became even more intense. This may be a common problem among young players, making it too difficult for a group of hormonal rich young men to maintain their composure. Therefore, even Larry Brown, known for his strictness in the NBA, will not give these players face during this period. After all, it took a lot of effort from Larry Brown to gather all the players for this team. If it weren't for the head coach being Larry Brown and assistant coach Popovich, Iverson and Duncan would definitely not have joined this dream team. Other players also have more or less connections and relationships involved. 11.0, Li Zhang said calmly. Anthony's eyes seemed to burst into flames, and his face became even worse. What are you saying? Don't worry about the score, my bag is not heavy, I don't like to carry a lot of luggage. The basketball plunged straight into the net, making a sound of friction. The basketball didn't even touch the basket, and Li Zhang's face didn't change at all. Although Anthony is taller and has better arm extension and strength than Marbury and Iverson, those who underestimate him can't defend themselves well. This is not a idealistic skill or grandiose rhetoric. Defense requires attitude and research. Defense is not a skill that can be practiced overnight. It involves polishing the body, repeating technical movements, perfecting details, and conducting comprehensive research on opponents. Anthony lacks the momentum of a strong defender. It's already started. Are you sure you want to defend me there? Li Zheng placed the basketball around his waist and said to Anthony. I hope your shooting is as good as your trash talk, Anthony said with a dark face and gritted his teeth, asking him to go outside the three-dot point line and press a college player one step closer. This is too embarrassing. These old players here make him even less willing to lose face. He has made up his mind to teach Li Zheng a good lesson, no matter how he tries. 3.0 Li Zhengwa intercepted his shot, and while the ball was still flying, he had already turned around and prepared to serve. The atmosphere of feigning competition also left the veteran players amazed. This kid is really crazy. Marbury complained softly. Yesterday, he was tricked countless times by Li Zheng with this move. This college student player's range is even more exaggerated than an NBA level 3. Point shooter. If he doesn't choose to press defense and don't cause trouble for his shots, this guy can really hit these long dot range shots continuously. Good luck, not bad, Anthony forced a smile and mocked, but the power to pass the ball to Li Zheng was noticeably reduced. Don't you come up. Li Zheng looked at Anthony with sincere eyes. Anthony gritted his teeth and took a few steps back to give Li Zheng more space. Marbury couldn't bear it and closed his eyes, sympathizing with the stunned little brother. Another one. In this era, shooting is generally referred to as a soft act, and shooting three-pointers while floating outside has been criticized by fans and players. However, today, Li Zhang's level of skill in shooting can be compared to that of hitting someone off the court. The veteran players secretly feel that with this kind of skill, he must become a great player. Actually, I'm better at breaking through. You know, I'm from college and I haven't received systematic training in shooting yet. When Li Zhang and Anthony walked past each other, he whispered this passage. Anthony listened expressionlessly, but everyone knew he was going to play for real. Silent Anthony defended Li Zhang closely, and in a one dot on point one bullfight without a referee, the scale of fouls would become very ambiguous, especially since both sides were highly competitive players, the range of movements inevitably increased. 
Anthony immediately inserted one leg into Li Zhang's path, tightly gripping his jersey with his left hand and occasionally touching Li Zhang's dribbling arm with his other hand. Everyone knew that Anthony was really angered by this serious appearance. Another three pointers. Ha! Huh. Seriously. Don't think about it, you don't have a chance. Anthony's small move on the edge of the foul didn't cause much trouble for Li Zheng. Li Zheng dribbled calmly until he had already chosen the location for the next three pointers. This is to thank Stephen Marbury, the great street ball player from Brooklyn and mentor in Li Zheng's heart. In the bullfight with Marbury, Li Zheng made a simple count of how he was elbowed more than 50 times, tripped his leg 20 times, pretended to poke his eyes 6 times, flew his feet 8 times, tackled the ball twice, and kicked the ball twice. These small movements full of New York street style have a strong teaching effect on Li Zheng's offensive and anti-dot interference aspects. The teaching results are naturally gratifying. Yesterday, when Li Zheng was dreaming at the hotel, he was all elbow bending and talking with a few garbage words in his dreams. Anthony wanted to disturb him with such a small gesture, it was simply a pipe dream. Where's your third? Hmm boy. Can you only float outside? It's too soft. Anthony elbow over without hesitation while fighting with Li Zheng, but he felt as if he had hit a wall. Li Zheng frowned as he watched the smoke gradually condense into familiar words. It was obvious that Cameron Anthony had triggered a switch on his chosen path, and he was about to complete a certain challenge to receive rewards or punishment. Steel Guardian Under physical and mental attacks, it has grown tired of becoming your weakness and will guard your bonds with a brand new posture. Immune and double rebound from malicious attacks from others, the strong sense of oppression and restraint made Li Zheng's walking quite inconvenient, but this feeling did not come from Cameron Antony. Li Zheng grabbed the ball with one hand and protected it behind him. Thank you, Cameron. Li Zheng sincerely thanked him, but Anthony saw the hand that Li Zheng had just reached into his pants pressing towards him and retreated in succession. FK. Are you planning to touch me with your hand that just finished touching my underwear? Are you crazy? Are you serious? Come on, I just sorted it out and didn't come across anything, I promise. Hey buddy, keep going, we'll finish at 11.0, Li Zhengcheng said earnestly. Get lost, who wants to finish with you? Anthony fled in despair, sprinting faster than his fast break in the nuggets. What's the deal? I won. Who's next? Dwayne. LeBron. Li Zheng turned to look at Wade and James, who were laughing back and forth, with a serious and serious expression. The onlookers of Dream 6 quietly dispersed, leaving only the two of them standing there dumbfounded as Li Xing challenged them. The two of them exchanged a tacit glance and then left the scene at the same rapid speed as Anthony when he left. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Bag Carrying Legion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Bag Carrying Legion After the farce, Li Zheng had a serious duel with Anthony. Despite the score of 11.0, Li Zheng fulfilled his promise and did not develop a back. He also appeared incredibly immature in using his strong body. Facing a player with such a basic offensive and defensive ability as Li Zheng, Anthony was very disappointed. Subsequently, Li Zheng tirelessly challenged Wade and James. Wade scored the first goal of the 0-3 Golden Generation with super speed, and James even found it very difficult to make stable shots. Their immature skills did not pose a significant threat to Li Zheng. With a score of 11.2 and 11.1, Li Zheng achieved a perfect victory over the 0-3 golden generation. Now Li Zheng has four little boys carrying bags, and he tirelessly challenges each player of the Dream 6 team. In the process of winning or losing, these guys are surprised to find that Li Zheng's ball-raising speed is too amazing. Whether it was inside or outside moves, Li Zheng was able to quickly turn them into his own skills. Li Zheng, who was already difficult to deal with, became even more difficult. Three days later, 
the players of Dream 6 team began to respectfully refuse Li Zhang's frequent one dot on point one requests. The ones who carried my bags were Carlos Boozer four times, Sean Marion two times, Cameron Anthony twelve times, Dwayne Wade six times, LeBron James two times, Tim Duncan three times, and Jason Richardson twenty-three times. Just win him again and gather his jersey number. Li Zheng picked up his notebook and outlined his achievements on it. Now, these guys from the Dream 6 team are eager to use US dollars to write off these debts, because Li Zheng, this arrogant guy, will really let these people carry his bags for him during the live broadcast of the Olympics. LeBron James Lee was gritting his teeth as he recited this name. If he won against others, they would all fall into the trap of long-term battle due to anger or revenge. Only this person was too clever. After two encounters with himself, he discovered his plan and then developed a culture of refusing to play basketball alone. Otherwise, the name of his own team would not have been limited to just a few names. Odom, Marbury, and Iverson followed James' example and decisively rejected themselves, preventing the Dream 6 team from becoming a base for caring for college students. It has to be said that they have once again formed a relationship with James. Although Li Zheng gradually gained respect among the players, he was still the least visible invisible person in the team, after all, Larry Brown almost exposed his abandonment of Li Zheng. During the training, he had very little playing time, and even if he received the ball, no one would run, so he could only complete some empty shooting tasks. The old friends of Dream 6 also noticed that Larry Brown consciously abandoned Li Zheng. Players need tactical support on the field, and Li Zheng's ball-holding style of play was designed by Larry Brown as an open pitcher. Although Li Zheng did equally well, everyone knew that this child was being suppressed. They found that Li Zheng, who was aggressive on the basketball court, had never complained about the issue of ball rights and playing time, which seemed to anger Larry Brown. In the following days, Li Zheng even had very little playing time during training. Mero. Let's have a game. Li Zheng picked up the ball and said to Anthony. I'm tired, Anthony refused Li Zheng's appointment without hesitation. Are you willing to be my little bag handler? This is a good opportunity, I don't feel good now. Li Zheng lifted the basketball elegantly and threw it, although he tried hard to play iron his physical instinct still allowed him to throw a perfect hollow ball. Shut up, do you think I'm a fool? Anthony said angrily. How many times does this kid have to beat himself to be satisfied? Isn't he with so many guys to command? Why are you always staring at yourself? Only you are the most courageous one, Marrow, and only you are the knight who stands to the end. This is respect for you. Li Zheng put his notebook back in his bag and said happily, but unfortunately, Anthony still managed to flee in the end. These guys are not easy to deceive. Li Zheng moved his body and watched the crowd running on the field, without a brain. The team's speed was just a flying fly, and Tim Duncan's strength was strong enough. Unfortunately, Iverson and Marbury would rather show off their shooting skills, which were even worse than college students, then give the ball to that big guy. Li Zheng flipped through Larry Brown's manual. Although the scene with Dream 6 was extremely chaotic and he was also abandoned, it must be said that Larry Brown is a rigorous coach, with dense records of each player's technical statistics and characteristic analysis, almost every player filling a page. Sitting on the bench and flipping through the manual has become a crucial way for Li Zheng to pass the time. After all, sitting in the audience all the time is also very difficult, and of course, this hard work will not be in vain. Larry Brown's Tactical Handbook, Will of the Grand Marshal Defense Defense Still TM's Defense Defensive plus 10 after complete reading, Famous Handsome Will Bonus can only be obtained once, Defense 108, 10, of course, this manual was not easy to come by. When Lee was first flipping through it, he looked through it with Larry Brown's deadly eyes on his own. No matter how sharp the serious old man stared at Li Zheng, Li Zheng would look back with innocent eyes. Later, the old man no longer resisted and allowed Li Zheng to pass the time with his tactical board and manual. 
Larry Brown also felt a little guilty in his heart. This Olympics was his final farewell game, winning the NCAA and NBA championships. He now only needs one Olympic championship to achieve the pinnacle of his coaching career. Although he appeared very calm and jokingly called it just a trip, in reality, he has already felt the gap in strength between this Dream 6 team and other Dream teams. Talent, willpower, teamwork, and discipline. This team lacks a true leader, which is not disrespectful to Iverson and Duncan. The leader of the Dream Team needs a villain more than a brother or a silent good person. The training period was also too short, and Larry Brown couldn't build a suitable defensive system. His attack could only rely on the players to play on their own, which was too difficult. This trip to the Olympics was very dangerous, and Larry Brown could only rely on his beloved Allen Iverson, just like Popovich's bet on Duncan. They have brought miracles, hoping they can do it again. Larry Brown silently thought, without stopping the chaotic team training, they were about to participate in the predecessor match in Cologne, Germany. Such a team is really not the team he wants. Li Zheng found that Larry Brown now looks more like Phil Jackson, sitting next to him for most of the time, without any iconic yelling, emphasizing defense loudly, and not staring at players who missed defense. Even the carefree Li Zheng could feel the old coach's restlessness. If Li Zheng learned about Larry Brown's thoughts, he would point out the entire concern of the old coach, all because this Dream 6 is too weak. End of this chapter. 10. Chapter 10 Insufficient Star Flavor You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Insufficient Star Flavor Cologne, Germany, the Dream Team special plane has just landed. Li Zheng stretched lazily and was the first to walk off the plane. Behind him was Anthony with a bag around his neck, while Iverson and Marbury's bags naturally landed on Wade and James. Many reporters, Li Zheng sighed while wearing sunglasses. It's a pity I didn't interview you, Anthony said with a strange tone behind him. Unfortunately, before he could finish speaking, a woman with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a suit walked up to Li Zheng. Hello, I'm Lisa, a journalist from Build. The woman smiled appropriately and leaned naturally towards Li Zheng. As the first Chinese-American player to be selected for the Dream Team, how are you feeling now? She knows so well Li Zheng calmly took off his sunglasses and chatted confidently to the blonde beauty, well, it's a responsibility and inheritance. Although it's heavy, I have confidence in carrying forward the charm of basketball on the stage of the Olympics. Anthony's teeth were almost biting apart but Li Zheng's shoulder bag was still around his neck. If he turned around and left now, he didn't know how Li Zheng could figure out how to tease him. So he could only watch this couple chatting and laughing here, and as their bodies got closer and closer, the woman's eyes seemed to become more and more affectionate. Congratulations on becoming a member of the Dream Team and wishing you good results this year. Li Zheng gently held Lisa's soft hand and said, Thank you. Lisa gently wiped her lips and whispered in Li Zheng's ear, taking advantage of the empty space behind the microphone. This is my number. The note slipped smoothly into the empty pocket of Li Zheng's coat, but Li Zheng turned around and left without hesitation, as if he hadn't heard Lisa's whispers clearly. It was clear that she wasn't beautiful enough to have 30 stamina. Hey, let's go, what are you looking at? Li Zheng shouted to Anthony, who was standing still. Is it over? Is this over? Anthony was still thinking about whether to speak ill of Li Zheng in the media when he interviewed him, but he found that Bill's journalist had quietly left, which made his heart even more hurt. What's wrong? Do you still want someone to treat you to dinner? Li Zheng said irritably. The reporters and cameras next to Iverson are the most, but they still seem sparse compared to the long guns and short cannons in the United States. Other players were only interviewed by a few media reporters, and some even had no interviews at all. They could only take a walk in place hoping to attract some people to come and interview. This team, like the American media's evaluation, is the first dream team with insufficient star flavor. Li Zheng and Anthony boarded the bus ahead of schedule, and it was a laborious task for them to be interviewed by the media. 
Especially, Li Zheng not only had no emotions but only sympathy for this team, and everything about this team could not move him. Li Zheng felt the mental exhaustion of the long absence. Since playing basketball, my life has become incredibly fulfilling. Roy and his team should have started training. That guy wouldn't slack off during the off-season. Li Zheng took out his phone, hesitated for a long time, and finally put it down. Playing to him at this time would be seen as showing off. But he still wants to talk to someone confused. Lost. He misses the days at the University of Washington more than the glamorous dream team when he feels sad. It's not just about crushing the record invincibly, but also about relying on his trusted teammates to play basketball carefree, working together for the same goal. Although there are differences and arguments, they are ultimately resolved in a man's way. The University of Washington is more like a team. I want to thank Roy. If it weren't for him, I would still be that arrogant person. It was his ability and attitude that awakened my love and respect for basketball, I want to thank Coach Romal. Without him, I wouldn't have grown rapidly in the game, I also have to thank my dad. Without him to support my dreams, I have to learn the finance that I dislike the most common saying among fans of the University of Washington is that having Li Zhang is their luck, but Li Zhang understands that lucky people are themselves. Anthony noticed that Li Zhang was feeling a bit down beside him, which was completely different from his personality. Although Li was the youngest in the team, everyone knew that this yellow-skinned young man was very tough. Even though Larry Brown deliberately teased him, he never lowered his head and challenged every dream six player with optimism and confidence every day. Some people didn't like him, but no one thought he was a weakling anymore. Li Zheng supported the car window with his elbow and his hand on his chin. He looked out of the window thoughtfully, his eyes filled with loneliness and confusion. Anthony saw Li's lonely appearance for the first time. He took out his digital camera and aimed it at Li Zheng to capture this picture. In the soft light, Li Zheng's melancholic appearance also made Anthony feel a bit gloomy. Larry Brown equally abandoned every newcomer, and Wade, who had the most playing time in the 0-3 generation, only had a meager six minutes. These proud and ambitious sons of heaven fully understood Li Zheng's melancholy. The little boy is homesick. Or miss your Chinese food. My treat. Do you want swa zongtang chicken or strawberry maple tofu? Anthony said with a grimace. Strawberry maple tofu, these words should not be combined. Li Zheng came back to himself, he understood that Anthony was trying to make him happy on purpose, and this baby-faced man was not a bad person. How about some beer? Athletes need to quit alcohol, Merrill. Although I understand this truth, I still feel a bit uncomfortable being taught such a lesson by someone who eats hamburgers and drinks cola every day. My mistake, but I heard that the pork elbow burger tastes good. Let's eat it tonight. Li Zheng finally smiled and grabbed Anthony's digital camera to look at the photo he took. How many photos are we taking together? Stay away from me. I really don't know why your body fat is so much lower than mine when you eat those things every day, you bastard. More than ten minutes later, the other players and staff of Dream 6 team boarded the bus one after another. After counting the number of people, they officially drove to the Cologne Sports Center for a brief warm dot up activity. Tomorrow, they will face the first opponent of their predecessor's game, the Italian national team. However, judging from the atmosphere of laughter and joy on the bus, they seem not to have taken this game seriously. Larry Brown opened his manual and hesitated repeatedly before crossing Li Zheng's name off the roster. Li Zheng's playing style completely did not conform to his coaching philosophy. He couldn't use such a player well, let alone his students who needed him more. Larry Brown has only compromised with Iverson in his lifetime. Initially, Li Zheng attracted his attention with precise shooting, but in games, Li Zheng's passing and shooting always caught the old coach's eye. Coupled with his college identity, Larry Brown has made plans to only let Li play when the winner is already in the game. As for the potential trouble of suppressing NCAA players, 
with Larry Brown's qualifications, as long as the Dream 6 team can win the championship as they wish, the blame from the NCAA league will not be too strong. Even Popovich was amazed by Larry Brown's madness, but what this iron-willed coach never lacked was courage. He had the qualifications and courage to do something. As Larry Brown grew old, he had already begun to consider his retirement days, such as the student named Popovich. Popovich sat on the bus and remembered what Larry Brown had said to him before his departure, Pop, you need to prepare well for the next Olympics and never let this year's events happen again. Although Popovich still remembered the heaviness in Larry Brown's tone, simple words still made him ecstatic. This sentence is a promise that he will become the head coach of the 2008 Olympics. Popovich's move to bring Duncan to this team is very commendable in the coach's heart. Duncan is also a perfect player in line with the coach's coaching philosophy. Larry Brown wholeheartedly supports Popovich as the head coach of the 08 Dream Team, and his efforts for his mentor have been rewarded and recognized. At the same time, this is also a lesson. Vincent Scott, Ray Allen, Jason Kidd, Carmelone, O'Neill Jr., those skilled players in the world championships, both in the outside and inside, have refused to play for various reasons, not only because of the so-called terrorist attacks, but also because their mentors and apprentices do not have a strong network in the NBA. Larry Brown's teachings are very clear. As his student and successor, the head coach of the Dream Team at the 2008 Olympics, Popovich must establish good relationships with the players in advance. For example, the few rookies that Larry Brown deliberately neglected were his best assets for Popovich. End of this chapter